Hey folks, this is Jerry with Trade the Fifth. Uh, today is November the 12th. Uh, today we had a pretty good trend day down in uh, most of the indexes and I wanted to go through a couple of trades, uh, three trades that uh, actually used options as the trading vehicle as opposed to uh, the stock itself using the black box breakout indicator. Uh, the first one I want to go through here is Tesla and what I've done was I've added the comparison symbol here at the bottom and I've pasted in uh, the actual option code so what this is is a plot of the option that I traded uh, which was uh, for all three of the trades what I ended up doing is picking an option that was either at the money or one out of the money um, but very close to where the price signal was going to be traded um, and that's generally what I'm going to do. And it's also an option that expires this week. Uh, you'll see in the code 1116. That's uh, 1116 is Friday. So I've traded this week's Friday expiration options, and I'm generally going to do that uh, for trades that I'm going to do in day trading options. In any event, you can see that uh, this particular trade here near the open uh, had a signal at 344.64 roughly and I looked at a close to the um, close to that price when the signal painted on this bar and this bar closed this uh, line painted and I looked at an option that was close to the trigger price and in this case I took a 342 and a half uh, put for a short trade and you can see that I got in right about there um, and it was trading roughly I don't know six 86, I don't know, 690, maybe it was seven dollars. I forget exactly what it was, but the point was that if you rode the trade uh, really for another 30 to 40 minutes and uh, started seeing this exhaustion signal where you had a big push down and then a pretty good size candle on volume uh, pull back, and we're around one ATR, which is this dotted line, and I've got ATR, uh, the average true range. Um, I keep track of <clears throat> for my trading, making sure that I'm getting in the trade. I still have a significant amount of the average true range for one day uh, left available for the trade. In this case, it was only down a few dollars at the point um, we had here, and I had a roughly one ATR is about 16 bucks. Anyway, um, you can see that as an option trade, and that's really the point I want to make here, is that on these pretty good move trend days with a lot of available room in an average true range for one day relative to where price is currently moved in the morning in this trade uh, this option here went from let's say seven dollars uh, up to a high of about fourteen ninety one so you could have doubled uh, your money in uh, this particular option in about uh, I don't know forty minutes or so uh, the next one that I did was Visa similar thing uh, we triggered right in here got a short signal market was moving down um, I had room still left a couple of dollars in the average true range um, when I did this trade and I think I got in right around dollar thirty and the high again where we ended up exhausting and you start to see some of these consolidation candles down here uh, ended up at two thirty three of the high so that was about a dollar um, almost a double in that one and the last one was Microsoft. We got a signal here and an entry. I think it was right on this candle, and the entry uh, was roughly around dollar fifty-three, dollar fifty-four, and riding that one all the way up uh, down to you know one ATR, which is a dotted line, would have been. Uh, right around 291 so that was almost a double so basically three good signals with a lot of room left in the day uh, from where the trade triggers uh, painted to where we could have potentially gone uh, we had a you know fortunate we had a trend day today which drove us down to most of the stocks uh, finding one average true range move um, and getting roughly doubles in three option trades in a pretty good trading day so that's the options for the trade. One other thing I want to talk about here really quick is, you know, obviously we're in a correction period in the market. And when this is uh, happening, you're going to get uh, wild moves up, wild moves down. And one of the things that I've been looking at doing, and it's starting to work out pretty well, is to change 
the time frame and the multiple time frame indicator for the dot cloud to be a much tighter range. Uh, instead of uh, on a five minute chart looking all the way out to a day, uh, I'm setting the bottom row to two hours, then one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and 10 minutes, and I really got a, a tight range. And I'm really looking to trade intraday trading within the day and using these kind of uh, signals and indicators. And you can see the alignment here when this thing uh, has gotten four of the top rows painted together. Uh, this turns into a square indicating the top row four rows are in alignment uh, time. They're all below their clouds on their time frames. Uh, we had a short signal on CL at 60.72 and if you rode that one all the way down to the low at 58.68 uh, that was about two points and the oil contract is a thousand dollars per point that was a two thousand dollar trade for one contract in oil uh, quite a tremendous uh, trade never you know you could have always trailed your stop below the cloud or some exponential moving average of your choice um, I can I often use the cloud and you can see that we never really broke it uh, through the entire day here and I've got the same thing for the futures for ES and NQ. Again, I've changed to two hours, hour, 30 minute. While we're in this correction period, I want to look at much shorter time uh, breaks of these clouds on these other time frames. And you can see that we've had you know multiple uh, alignment of time frames. These colors show a pullback against the trend which is bearish for the day and each one of these and this one in particular was a pretty good short uh, you would have actually gotten most if not all of the move for today in ES uh, we also had some uh, black box breakout uh, trend um, moves that we ended up taking advantage of today um, I think this one was uh, I'm trying to think of which one we had it was right around here I think we took this one Oh boy, I'm not sure exactly where it was, but we had, I'd have to go back and look at how we tweeted this out. Um, but we did take a couple of trades, I think it was this one here, and we ended up riding this down and taking the, the profit in this area. In any event, uh, between the multiple time frame dots and the black box breakout uh, trade indicator, lots of uh, very, very profitable trades today. And it's uh, kind of what you expect on a trend day to be in trends at a good period, have a lot of good room to make the moves and uh, make some good profits. Visa trade, uh, similar, you know, we hit uh, as an option trade. Uh, the last one I had, I'm not sure if I went through that or not, but we had uh, triggered in here and again rode this one down and uh, entered at this point and exited at that point uh, for almost a double. Anyway, wanted to capture that real quick. I didn't have a lot of time to do some uh, uh, deep in-depth um, uh, trade analysis today for you, but I did want to get this one out, especially when we're in these trend days, to give you opportunities to take advantage of some uh, fantastic uh, short-term trades using options and futures. Thanks. Bye-bye.